everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Uh, we're gonna do our continued run of Leon's assassin run for the weekly challenge. As usual, I got a late start. It's always the same. So, um, I might just play it all, to, all the way to the end and just finish out the assassin run. And leave Siphon Filter for later, again. I don't know, let's see how well it goes. Maybe if we can finish up quickly, we can take a stab at Siphon Filter. If not, what I figure is I might just start Metal Gear anyway. You know, there's no point in waiting. I know there's a zombie out there. We said we were going to kill him, right? Just wondering if I should get rid of that knife or not, because it's almost at its end. So, let's see. Oh, we're going to need some health, because we're going to need to dodge the dogs. So, we need at least one herb to get us through. We can pick up the first aid spray later on, but we need at least one herb to get us through. Make sure he's not close to the door. Where did he go? Huh. We were at 32. There's the window. Where the fuck is he? Oh, there he is right there. Just let him come to you. He makes his way over here. Man took all those shots. And he is finished. So that's 33. Got 17 left. We're not going to shoot the dogs because like I said, there's no point. We cannot afford to miss one or two shots at the dogs, so... We're just going to skip that. We can only take shots at the enemies that we're sure to hit. And the dogs are not some of them. So we're just going to skip past all that crap. Oh, look at that one. I thought that one was sleeping. That's the one A to kill. I was about to say, why isn't he getting back up? Alright, we made it. Without any, any real difficulty. Let's do this puzzle, which I always forget how it goes. There we go. I was just looking at a video for Resident Evil 2 mods. Or Resident Evil mods in general. There's some interesting ones, but unfortunately I don't have a PC that can play modern games, so I can't benefit from any of those. The only one I can really use is the, the HD mods for the original games. The Seamless HD mod trilogy. We can use that one. And we can also use... um. Hmm. The HD mod what for the regular after? version of RE4 from, you know, the original one. That one, I wanted to install it on my PC going back like a year and a half. I just haven't ever gotten down to doing that. Just one of those things that you need to make the space for it. I gotta install it eventually. Especially since the developer actually added some new areas there, so we can, um... Give me a break! <laughs> You gotta be careful there because he can hit you. Yeah, the developers added some extra areas, which is kinda cool. They kinda used it as like a little museum to document the developing of the game. I mean of the mods. So. That was a cool little detail they added. And it goes on way longer than you think. Like it's a huge, huge area. It's not just one secret little room they added. It's a it's a huge area recognizing like the um 
the developers who participated and um, they also gave it like a cult theme so it has like the Illuminato symbol it's a really cool area you can see it on videos so I've wanted to see that myself for a while but some of them are tough like the one for RE2 remake to replace all the enemies with Mr. X, that seems kind of rough. Is that the intel you needed? And also seems like it will get boring no. after a while because you're not seeing any other enemies, just him. Well, so it becomes exactly well, like for? basically just a More info on the people another version of the Alien lost. Isolation game. That's kind of boring. The Resident Evil 5 one at night looks kind of interesting, but it also Rose looks out. like they made it super tough. So going through that gun shop looks like the only way. I can appreciate them wanting to make the game scarier. Because that game's not scary at all. It wasn't even scary when it released, but at the same time, there is a limit. You know, you don't want to pack it full of so many hard to kill enemies that you just suck the fun out of it. So, I don't know if I'd ever try that one. I guess we could give it a try one day. I think my computer might be able to run that one, but again, do I really want to? Do I really want to run that game? I'm not sure I do. One, I don't like Resident Evil 5 that much, but also, like I said, it's, it says like it seems like they increased the difficulty a lot. You're finding like three executioners at one point. Uh, the white woman who gets killed at the beginning get, gets replaced. Um, she becomes um, a pursuer type enemy who you have to kill over and over again. Like, I don't know about that, my guy. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Sorry, Kendall, we don't have time for you. I'd love to help you out with your daughter sometime, but we don't have time for you. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical yes. company secretly making bioweapons. That sucks. If Kendall would have just virus. taken his daughter and gone with Jill, he probably would have been able to save her. Monsters. Because the whole reason that they got delayed the getting to the Umbrella Lab in the first place was because Jill was the only one fighting Nemesis, so... You know, that, that's why he was able to ambush her. If he had had two people there, that wouldn't have happened. She could have had someone who tackled her, you know, allowed her to dodge said, Nemesis' um, sewer seems fitting. little poison dart that he throws at her, that, that bone shard that infects her. Thanks. She could have dodged that, or else Can't they could have just taken him down, down sooner, or who knows what they could have done. <sighs> and they would have had the Come time on. too, so I think Sewers are run by the city. that was a bi How could big they have mistake on Kendall's part. The hardest the part would have been convincing the Welcome umbrella mercenaries not to kill his daughter, but Come on, it's Jill. Like, she could have found a way. Especially if Carver's got on her side. That an earthquake? I sure as hell hope so. What the hell? Stay shot. God only knows what's down here. Oh, we know what's down here, Ada. You don't have to tell me. Store that shit. That knife is on its last legs. I should probably not save here and instead save it for the next room. Because that's closer to Ada's section, but we got the the uh, Ingram is to spare, so we'll do it here. Just in case we screw up the, the uh, gator part. Yeah, Kendall probably could have saved his daughter if he had just gone with Jill. But we'll never know, I guess. We'll never know. And, like, and Jill probably wouldn't have gotten infected, like I said, Again? if there were two people to kill an emphasis instead of her, just her. No chance. You're stuck with me to the end. Now, Nikolai would have been a problem, but like I could say, you could have found a way around that. Listen to that old, that old school music. Holy shit! Can't possibly have a fixed camera angle in the mod, right? Chew on that, you overgrown son of a bitch. You know, it has a fixed camera angle mod that they released about a month ago. That that part can't possibly have a different camera angle, right? There's no way to make it work. That's the other one I saw, but I already saw someone play that one. Leon, mm. up here. It has some interesting camera what angles, but I'm was... not. Just get up here. I'm not as nostalgic for that part of Resident Evil, you know. That's um. 
fixed camera angles can stay in the Can't past. Say I didn't warn you. You like, said I don't the virus mind them, but it really only works monsters, if you design reptiles. the game They're from types. the very beginning to I'm take into account fixed camera angles. If you just try to shove it in there, like they did with this game, and some of it works fine, and then the others looks kind of um, it's kind of a mess. Like when you're fight when you're fighting William Burke in his first form, like the way he's pursuing you all around there, like it becomes very difficult to slash him accurately. So let me get this straight, because you can't gauge how close he is to like you, so... To who? Our military? Not my Somebody idea of a fun else's? time. Plus, they, they haven't worked out the monsters. tank controls fully, they so they're the still on them. improving them, and they're the probably going to be improving them for like the, the next six months, so... Scary is that That's the games. worst part is, if, if you have a game that, yeah, it might look pretty and have great angles, but at the same time, you can't control your character properly. That just makes it frustrating, so... Not for me. Even if I do eventually get a computer that can run this game, That'll be one mod that I probably will pass on. Oh, so that's what we needed the extra increments because there's no box here. Got it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I was wondering, you could have saved here, but no, because um, unless you pick up the ink ribbons, you, you're going to have no way to save here. Alright, it. But you can't hide. It's secret skank time. It's secret weapon time. God, Ada eight, eight, eight just sucks. I hate her character so much. She looks fine. I can see why Liam would want that booty and that Candy rack, but she just baby. sucks, man. She's probably one of the worst people in the game in the series next to Wes Grand Burke, and it's just awful. Like, she is, is as equally dubious as Annette in this game, maybe more. Annette was gonna sell the virus to, like, the US government, which is what makes her a hypocrite. But Ada's a piece of shit, too. They're both pieces of shit. Sherry got stuck with an unlucky family in William and Birkin. I mean, William and Annette, but Leon willingly keeps following Ada. Despite knowing what a piece of shit, she, what a piece of shit she is, so God damn, Leon, grow some balls. <laughs> this is gonna be tricky. We might have to reload. Let's see. Maybe not. We pulled it off. Yeah, if we missed one of those shots, we would have had to reload. But thankfully, we didn't. And the other guy, we could just shoot him straight at his chest to move forward to the water, aiming at the knee. I see people normally try to get the flashbang to get around this, but I think it's fine to just run around. God damn, motherfucker. Fuck you. I was about to say, it's just fine to run across. Ah, Nope, you know what? We're reloading. Reload that shit. Yeah, let's, good thing we made that save. Fuck that. We are not playing that. You can run, Annette. But you can't hide. Yeah, we are not about that, so let's just it's secret fuck that. Time. We are not playing that game. Hell no. Candy from a baby. I think if we can get past Leon's section by like 1.30, it's currently 106, we might have a shot a shot to a finish before like two o before like two o'clock or two or five or two ten I can start siphoning filter. It all depends on how quickly you get past the space. space. Remember we're not finding the blob here. We're only fighting Mr. X, so that saves us quite a bit of time. That saves us a bit of time, so we don't have to take like um, 45 minutes at the lab. And also, maybe if we can um, 
Maybe if we can save some time. There you go. Maybe if we can save some time. By not going back to the RPD to get the, the thing for the Magnum, maybe that'll help us out a bit. Come on, Ada, go. Oh, he didn't, he didn't stand up. Well, that actually saves us quite a bit of time then. We don't have to worry about dodging him. Usually he stands up quickly, like you saw in that in that video. He did not do it this time. Nope, screw you. And you. There you go. And we are through. Always been good at running. Yeah, look at that booty from Ada. That we all know what Leon wants. Which makes you wonder um, if he ever did get what he, what he wanted. Would he actually go bored of her? This is like, oh, I finally got what I wanted all these years. And it's like, oh, maybe uh, this was a bad idea. You know? Very bad idea, Leon. I was also watching someone play Resident Evil 4 earlier, the remake. And it's funny how Leon says, like, I'm a... What does he say? Like, I'm a one-woman type of guy when the two Chainsaw Sisters attack. And meanwhile, I'm thinking it would be funny if, while he's saying that, and all obsessing over Ada, Ada's just running a train with other spies in her spare time. She's just... She doesn't give a fuck about Leon. She's out, with, she's out there with, like, 20 men. And here he is just fawning over her, thinking about her every day, and... And Aid is just running a train <laughs> of people. Who knows? Maybe she has even other women too. We don't know. It. We don't know Jack about this woman. She Bravo. might not even be straight. She could be bi and just be running a train on everybody. You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. I'm not the only one. Also, now, now that I think about it, um, Wesker. Wesker's not a ladies' man. You can you can tell he's repulsed by um, Excella's attempts to woo him in RE5, but you do wonder. Ada did say that she knew him far longer than um, what's his name did. Uh, Krauser, in original RE5. I wonder. You think maybe Wesker might have had a turn at, at Ada, or she might have had a turn at him? Wesker doesn't strike me as a lady's man, like I said, but you never know. He, he might have had to do something compromising with her. What she's doing. For her to say that she's known him longer. Visitor clearance confirmed. That doesn't sound like she's just someone he hires from time to time. That sounds like they have a relationship. Please return before this late. Not gonna happen. Like, why does he go to her instead of all the other available spies or mercenaries? Why is it always her? And then at the end he lets her go too. Like yeah, he might be secure that he's um gonna win anyway, but still he lets her go at the end of RE4 remake and her section several ways, so like does he have a thing Ada? for her? Where are you? Like maybe not romantically, but maybe like oh I kinda respect this one woman who's as devious and crooked as I am. You know. Let's save again because why not? We have the we have all the ink ribbons in the world. Let's do it. 111, so. Do we got another knife or not? I'm trying to remember if we. Oh, well, we don't have one there. Fuck, we don't have any at all. We're just gonna have to deal with it. Got two grenades. Uh, how many do we have in here? One. Uh, let's just put one away. We'll keep one just in case we need it. Just in case we need it. That's a pleasant smell. Yeah, you imagine Leon saving himself for Ada all these years, and meanwhile Ada is just out with, with every single spy she comes across. Male or female, like I say, you, we don't even know. We don't even know this woman's real name. That's not Ada. 
That's just a personality she adopts from time to time, so it's not that, so... Who knows what her name even is? She could be a Karen. Or a Carol. Or Leon. Like Leon Zing from Siphon Filter. We don't know. We have no absolutely no idea. We have absolutely no idea who this woman even is outside of her crafted... Her carefully crafted personality that, he's, uh, that she's used to... To make Ada... In, I mean, to make Leon into this... Into this obsessed-ass wimp. Should we use a shotgun on him or not? Um, fuck it, this... I don't want to waste too, too many bullets on this dude. Yeah, that was a close one, Leon. That was a close one. Normally you shoot this asshole right here before he gets back up, but the problem is... I'm not actually sure... What it might do. So, will it actually count on that? God damn it. God damn it. That's right. What the? You said it, Leon. Why is this man not dead? You think we have one more swipe? No, he's dead. Let's, let's not test it out. Because if it breaks, we're screwed. Because I want to use that knife since um, the Geodol is going to grab us. I want to use that knife and then substitute this one for it. So I do not want it to break. You know, we slash one, one of his legs and the whole knife breaks and it's over. That would be a very bad scenario. So let's not even play around with that. Let's... Literally, Leon, you're literally in shit right now. Everybody's favorite things, right? Sewer levels. Everybody loves sewer levels. Since the Mario games. Said no one ever. I've asked this before in multiple video videos. Has there ever been one single um sewer level that was good? That you said, oh, this was actually pretty pleasant. Not bad at all. Uh -oh. What the hell? Get lost. Start vibing. Has there ever been a sewer level that you looked at and said, Oh, this is actually pretty easy. It's not bad at all. Or is that only Cable a fantasy? Car. Interesting. Like, I guess some parts of Mario might count as a sewer level, since, you know, he goes in tunnels and stuff, but that's not really the same. They're usually not damp. They're not damp enough to count as sewer, sewer levels. Where'd she go? And if half the game's taking place in a sewer level, then it's not really the same, right? It's just a game, so... I mean, Crash did have that one bouncing barrel level, which I kind of enjoyed, but it could get difficult, so... I don't know if it's a great example. Like, it's not bad, but I'm also... I also don't know if I would classify it as great. It's more like in between. Because that can get really rough, trust me. What is, what is it called? Toxic Waste? And then you have the other ones in um, Crash Bandicoot 2. Those were... They were kind of cool, but they could also be awful at the same time if you didn't have a lot of... Um, a lot of the... The Witch Doctor mask to help you out. They could get kind of rough, so I don't know. I guess those would be the closest thing to a sewer level. Would probably be those Crash Bandicoot ones. The closest ones to actual decent sewer levels. Oh yeah, we can store more ammo now, right? So we don't even need to hold this for now. That's a, a question I would really like an answer to. That does shooting the enemies while they're lying down count against your accuracy or not? If you shoot them right there, does it count as it hit, or does it just, you know, unintentionally kill them? But at the same time, does it count or not? Like, do you get penalized if you shoot them while they're lying down, as opposed to getting back up? Because you have that one zombie in the lab. 
we never shoot her, but like, if you were to shoot her with the shotgun, does it count against you or not? Like, I don't think it does, but then I'm so unsure about these challenges, I'd rather not risk it, you know? I'd rather not take the risk. We got the thunder shotgun. Damn, it was raining a lot today in the afternoon. I got absolutely drenched going to convenience. That sucked. We had like three minutes where it kind of um, calmed down and then it just um, turned into a fucking mess. Actually, I'm kind of wondering now. Now, oh, we should have left behind the knife because I was thinking maybe we could save some time by going the gauntlet area first but the problem is I'm not sure if we have enough um oh yeah because we, we didn't bring the flash grenade that sucks it's easier to shoot him when you're climbing like that fast provides you a nice large center target to aim at There you go. Let's run past them just in case they're d they're down. Nope. Oh, screw you, buddy. You're going down. Shit! And he is dead. Both dead. Oh shit! I stopped counting already. So it was 33 with the, the other zombie. It was 33 with the first zombie we killed. We killed the alligator, which was um 34. Plus, I'm going to count the two zombies from the grenade. I'm going to count those. So that would be 36. 36. Uh, we didn't kill the G adult. 38. So these guys would be 38. Okay. Yeah, like, should we? Damn, I didn't bring the flash grenade. That would have been very useful. You know, let's go get it back. We're gonna, we're gonna make some handgun ammo. We're just gonna, we're just gonna make a buttload of handgun ammo. We're just gonna leave the knife for now because I want to see if we can save some time that way, but not having to run around the gauntlet area. If we can do it right now, we can save ourselves a bit of time. So, yeah, what we're gonna do is um. We're saving the the large gun powders for. There you go. We should have enough to kill everyone now. We only gotta kill that one zombie. And where's the? Got one flash grenade. Ugh. Gotta put away the knife. And let's see. We need uh, two for the flame door. Need two for the slots. And one for the, um, one for the, um, what do you call that thing? The herb. Because we need one for the herb, but we're going to combine all three of them into one herb. Yeah, so that would be herb, the two, um, plugs, the extra ammo. And the flame throw around. That should, yeah, we sh should have enough. We just can't pick up the key until we use up the grenade. That's when we pick up the. That's when we pick up the key. We might have to reload that because I'm thinking. Wait a minute, it's not gonna take 15 shots to kill that guy, right? That should be enough. You know what? Fuck it, let's. Um... Let's leave behind the ammo, just in case. Leave behind the ammo. We'll pick up that grenade over there. The one that's lying around near the geodults. I don't think we're gonna make it unless we hurry. Like I said, maybe we can leave behind the... Um, the stuff in the RPD. It's really just the barrel for the 
for the thing which you don't need. We don't need the the barrel for the magnum. Just to make it ultra powerful, but it costs us some time. So we don't really need it. We can just leave it behind. Like instead of going just what we're gonna do is instead of going back to the RPD, we're just gonna pick up the um we're just gonna get the Magnum. The Magnum ammo. Yeah, we cannot pick up that key until we use up the the grenade, so there's no point in touching it just yet. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Shit, he's not um... Oh, we dodged him. Hell yeah. Let's go. Not that this Yeah, the only thing we really need is the Magnum ammo, so we, like I said, we just go upstairs and grab that. Oh no, we do have to- fuck, we do have to go to the RPD because we never got the Magnum in the first place, shit. Oh well, there goes that plan. Damn, we do have to go fucking go back. That sucks. Uh, I completely forgot we did not grab it at all. I thought we already had the Magnum, but that's only in the B scenario. We never grabbed that thing because we were running away from Mr. X. Shit. Fuck, we do have to go back because then we don't have anything we can use against um, Mr. X at the end except the buttload of grenades, which is not going to do the job, so... That sucks, man. We do have to gr grab that shit. Ugh. Making life more complicated than it has to be. How many bullets does this guy take? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let him growl all he wants. Lock him in here. I'm gonna lock him in here. Oh fuck, we can't lock him in here. Shit. I forgot. Just shoot him down. There you go, he's dead. That would be 39. Let's grab this. Damn, we should have gotten that Magnum earlier. Would have saved ourselves a whole bunch of trouble. Now we have to go back and get it. That's bullshit. Come on. Yeah, so there's no point. We have to get it. Because um, otherwise we can't... We won't have enough shotgun ammo left to tackle Mr. X. And we also won't have enough um to take out G3 Birkin. So it's... We actually do have to go back and get that fucking Magnum from the RPD. Ugh. It's gonna take like 10 minutes. Uh, I guess we gotta do it. Somewhere. 
those two disappear. Let's see if this guy fucks off to somewhere else. Can we start burning him now? Son of a bitch. Was he glitched? Because, um... Yeah, it, um... tricky if you don't time it right. You gotta get try to go around them. Well let's wait until we go back down. Oh we missed it. God damn. Ah, uh, get out of the fucking way, man. Get out of the fucking way. We still have the grenade, but I don't want to use it. I want to get try to get around me. Oh, he tried. He tried. There we go. Put away the flame door. We know this dude is gonna get back up, so now we can officially execute him. That'll be 43. Yeah, it's gonna be right around the corner. I see Shadow. Uh, fat boy. <coughs> Take that, fat boy. Oh, damn, we can't even grab the fucking herb. So that's 43. Yeah, we do have to go back to the RPD. <laughs> Funny how that works out. I thought we had the Magnum already, and now that's the B scenario. We have to go back. So yeah, I don't think we're going to make it for Siphon Filter if we try to do the whole game. And I don't want to risk um, doing it in four videos. Just if we, if we uh, use four videos, then it just becomes tedious. We're doing four videos for like a three and a half hour run. It's just insane. So let's put that away. Let's put this away. In this, we can safely store this. Need more gunpowder, that's for sure. Let's take the handgun. What else did, did we need? Um, oh yeah, the badge. We cannot leave the badge behind. That, that would be very bad. So, No, not the ink ribbons, the badge. Here we go. Because we're going to get more uh, storage space anyway. I'm just wondering if we need to make any more ammo or not. Let's see. I guess we probably should. 
We probably shoot him. Oh no, we get ammo upstairs. Never mind, we get ammo upstairs. I forgot. There's handgun ammo upstairs. We don't even need that. <laughs> oh boy, let's go get that fucking magnum. Shit. God damn it. Also, we gotta forget, we can't, um... Well, I guess we can grab the barrel first, but we're gonna have to carry it upstairs into the safe box. You know, where you put it in the box downstairs, you need, you need the batch to access that one box. Should we grab this or not? I guess we should, because we do have the inventory space, right? Let's just grab it anyway. I don't know if Leon runs, runs faster with the shotgun or the handgun, but I'm going to switch to the handgun just in case. Maybe we should have tried doing the B scenario instead. That might have been a bit better. But since I didn't want to bother with a blob burking, we chose this one. I just don't know if our shots count against them. Like I said, I don't want to fire off a bunch of machine gun bullets into my train bottle completely destroys our accuracy. I do not want that scenario, so... I guess we might as well grab this, right? Because we're, all we're already here. You know what, let's just... Aw, oh, fuck, we forgot the fucking knife! Ugh. Shit. Whatever, let's, let's just deal with these buffoons here. Whatever, let's just let's kill them. Aw, oh, we missed... <laughs> Fuck! Shit, we missed four shots. Never mind. You know what? Fuck that. When did we last save? We, we did the... Never mind, let's just start over. We should have saved when we went back from the... Yeah, we're definitely screwed now. We cannot... Now we cannot do that thing at all. Siphon filter is screwed. Unless I just want to cut it short, but I kind of wanted to do the whole thing. I don't... I didn't want to have four videos just for this run. Yeah, we should have, um... What do we need, um... Okay, so we already have that. Yeah, I don't think we need the bullets, right? Yeah, that definitely screwed us right there. Yeah, because what we should have done is take the knife. We should have taken the knife. And uh, just lashed at that one guy, and when he started to get back up, we killed him. That way we could lure the other ones into the room. But we didn't. Shit, so. Gotta deal with that now. Ugh. God damn, that sucks. We gotta do the whole, this whole section over, and yeah, this section's a big piece of shit. Come on. Gotta do this whole fucking thing over again. this section. I'm not gonna say I wish it wasn't included ever because it does throw you off balance but at the same time it's just so tedious going through these, these pieces of shit. Ah, we don't have the fucking grenade. Shit, so now we're really screwed. The hell was that? I guess we can just um, tank the poison. We just tank the poison. <laughs> Switch over here. Maybe we can avoid this There's no avoiding that. This is blind. God damn. Fucking assholes. back 
back to do that whole um, slap that he does. It takes off all your health. That sucks. So you know what? We're going to have to combine this. You have to take this. And just save the blue one to combine with, with one of the orbs we have in the box. That sucks. We got to do this whole bullshit all over again. This is definitely costing us extra time that I did not want to have to utilize. You know what? Fuck this guy. Fuck him. I do not care for this fucking bullshit. What the hell? Oh damn, you can see the bones and everything. Look at that, I completely fucked him over. I didn't want to aim at the head and miss, so I just I went for the chest. Let's unlock that. Is he dead or not? He's dead. Still not fucking dead. You son of a bitch. You know, we'll just make it 42. Fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. We just we just count 42 instead. When we kill these next two G adults, we just make it 42. Just fuck that guy. He's taking enough of our ammo. I do like the system they made for damage where you can literally see all the bones and ribs and stuff once you blast them away. That's pretty neat. Yeah, you can leave through pieces. <laughs> Gotta get away from the little creatures. Damn dude, go somewhere. Fuck off. Oh, we gotta spend extra time doing this shit. Did they leave? Gotta be extra careful. You never know. Alright, here comes this bastard. Let's see. Count it as a uh, 42. Once we kill the other G adult, I didn't want to, but um, yeah, I just didn't want to miss like a different shotgun. Damn, he's still here. Go somewhere, you fucker. Ah, uh, go. Just see if he resets. Guy's still in there, like a growled pig. Damn, but we can't. Leon can't aim, right? I can do this. Yeah, he can't. No, you can't, Leon, because the the barrier is gonna get in the way. No, you can't. He's still here. Go somewhere, you fucker! What are you doing? He's glitched. Go somewhere. Man, get lost. Get lost, you you punk. 
Hopefully going down here resets him because god damn that son of a bitch is annoying. Like go somewhere already. If he's still stuck there, we're gonna have to just start firing at him with the flamethrower no matter what, because we cannot wait wait around five minutes for this guy to disappear. Just just get the fuck out. Yep, your barbie's here. Jackass. Shit. There you go. Just flipped over. Let's see if he disappears in his own. Yep. Just give him a little time to swim away. Just a little time to swim away. He's gonna return to that area over there. Now this time we're not gonna make the same mistake as before, we're gonna save. Those guys are annoying. Annoying as fuck. God damn. Thank you for not being an obstacle this time. Get the fuck out. So we did not retrieve the herbs because uh, we got bamboo, so by that one. Adult, but at least we got the flamethrower and the plug, so. so let's go over there and say we gotta kill this buffoon too. Son of a bitch! Oh, what the fuck? You see that? He did like a front flip and then it fell in half and the, f the half fell on him. What the fuck? I've never seen that ever happen. Should we give him another one or, or just a handgun? Just do the handgun. Is he dead? Damn, look at that shit. I think that's gonna be the um, thumbnail of the video. He's just folding in half like that. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking there. I guess we'll grab the grenade later. Alright, so we got we're back to 42 enemies. Like I said, we just we'll just count the other ones. I've never seen that happen before in the game. He just folded over like as he fell in half. And this, and this, and this. Got 14 minutes. Do we um, go for siphon filter or do we continue with this? Like, I kind of want to continue with this, like just to finish it off. There we go. That's our insurance right there. S stick this over here. Okay, so we do have um, handgun bullets upstairs. We don't need that. Um. Oh yeah, we need, we need the fucking knife so we can knife that fool. Yeah, we're just gonna take the, the bullets and reload. Let's grab the this we can't forget that we're just gonna reload using the shotgun bullets over there yeah I'm in my rhythm now so I don't wanna switch over oh we're gonna do siphon filter and then we gotta do finish this off tomorrow but we'll be starting Claire tomorrow like maybe guess Gabe Logos is gonna have to wait again he's been waiting for like three months he can wait some more time <laughs> he can wait
I gotta go back to playing the Tomb Raider Masters. Um, so far, I've only tried the first one. I guess it's decent, but the controls are horrid. They are horrible, and it doesn't matter which one you use tank controls, modern controls. I saw people bitching about the modern controls, but uh, honestly, I think, I think the tank controls are even worse. They, they just suck. No good, so. Yeah, we're just gonna take care of this buffoon. Right now. There you go. So now we can safely lure these guys over to the room. We don't have to worry about them. <laughs> See, here he comes. Once he bursts in there, we're gonna kill him. Come on, fat boy. There you go. He burst in there only to get his dome taken off. Is this guy still alive over here? He is not. So we got 43, 43 and 44. Let's use the key. Yeah, we might as well get all the stuff upstairs because there's no point now. So, might as well do it. Got no space. We could sacrifice the key by opening this door, but the problem is um, we're still going to have no space. So little short tip when you're playing on Leon if you don't want to go past the G adult over there because he's um so much trouble let's all us over here is just zombies you can easily dodge those you don't need to go over there for any reason you don't need to go yeah we can we could grab the um gunpowder or we can grab oh can we reload let's see Oh hell yeah, we got an extra slot. Nice. So now we can grab the magnum too. Oh, we should not have grabbed the fucking uh Damn, we shouldn't have grabbed the um hmm. The gunpowder. Because now we don't have enough space to grab the magnum ammo. That's what that was the whole purpose of coming down here. Unless we just save it. I guess we can just save one extra slot. We gotta remember just to save one slot. Yeah, so we have to remember the Magnum Ammo's down here. Save one slot because I want to get the barrel right away. That way we can leave the batch in the RPD. We don't have to come back for it. See, it's right here, but I don't want to touch it just yet. Maybe we can just get a head start on Claire's um, scenario after if we finish this. Cause we just did a super long Alan Wake video last night, so I don't do I don't want to do Alan Wake two again. Like the story is fascinating and all, but I just don't want to do it again right after this. So maybe we can just get it started on Claire's scenario. We can just tear everything apart. Depends on the length of the video though, cause we're at, at an hour right now. I don't want to go past an hour forty five. So. that they don't let you grab these the stuff from here 
without developing the film first. You absolutely have to de develop the film. Otherwise, you just um, you can't literally can't do it. Can we bypass Marvin so we don't have to shoot him? We can. Oh hell yeah! Let's just circle around here. That um, that liquor is still out there, so we're not going that way. We're gonna take the long way around because even though it's more tedious. Even though it's more tedious, um, I don't want to deal with the liquor. Let's grab the magnum, finally. Finally grab that magnum. Gotta pop this out. There we go. We do not. We do not need the the um, badge any longer. So let's combine that with this. Also, the barrel is um. There's also the only thing you have to come back for is the um, laser sight. That's the thing. It's the laser sight. It's not the barrel. It's the laser sight. So technically, if you don't want the laser sight, you don't got to come back here at all. We're just doing so just to get that, but you actually don't have to come back and get the laser sight at all if you don't want. Gotta be careful here because the liquor's still over there. Let's go get the laser sight. Might as well, right? We're gonna leave behind the. Uh, we're gonna leave behind the. The film for Rebecca. We don't need that. He doesn't hear you, I guess, because it's raining. The rain blocks out the sound of your footsteps. We're gonna go now and get the the last. Um, Flame door ammo. It will be done with the RPD for good. Make sure he's not at the door. He is not at the door. Where the fuck did he go? Oh, there he is right there. Perfect. He is out of our way. Go grab that flamethrower ammo. We didn't really need it, but like I said, we might as well get it while we're here. We can store it in the box. Sorry, Marvin, we'll have to wait until later to kill you. Also, gotta take a look again at the different times because I wanna. For clear scenario, I wanna pick the one that's easiest to do, so. I have to look at, at the specific times and see which one is um, faster to do, whether it's the A scenario or the B scenario. I have a feeling it's B because all this stuff is um, already done for you. So we might just go with B. You can skip a lot of stuff. Should we kill that one zombie have it count? Nah. Nah, because there's more downstairs. There's more zombies downstairs for us to kill, so... We'll let them live. Yeah, I think it's uh, Claire's second run is faster to do than than the A run, so we'll probably pick B. And that is officially it for Marvin now. Let's just scoot over here so that we don't disturb him. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Got it. Store this. Oh, we f shit, we forgot the fucking... Um... Damn, we forgot the actual... Laser sighting upstairs. We just completely bypassed the whole. We by bypassed the whole uh, star's office on our way back. That sucks. Ah, come on, fine. Okay, that guy is still sleeping. Let's just keep it that way. 
two minutes. Over here is two minutes. Whatever. I can spare two minutes. Because after this, we're done, right? We're just gonna fight Birkin and then we're off to the lab. There you go. We're gonna leave behind Rebecca's picture that she sent Wesker. I don't know why an 18 year old was flirting with Wesker in the first place. I guess she just finds the top because of the sunglasses and blonde hair. It's the only reason. Is this guy at the door or not? Where is he? He's over there. Ah, perfect. So he always, he always moves to the left corner, so that is perfect for us because that means we can just um, leave him be. Oh, but the only thing about Claire's B scenario is I hate dealing with that fucking revolver. I hate that thing. So, I don't know. I'll take a look at the times. See which one is better, but... Yeah, that's the thing. I hate dealing with that fucking revolver. It sucks. Store that. Um, yeah, we're gonna need some... I'm gonna save. We're gonna need some... We have some hang on ammo. I think that might be enough to take care of the zombies. We don't need anything else, so... That should be enough, because it's not like... It's what, like... Three of them, basically? Okay, and we got it. So we need a slot for the plug. One for the magnum ammo. And then one for the gunpowder. Oh, you know what? We just... Here's what we'll do. We just take one gunpowder. Mix it, and then... We'll combine and have more hand on ammo. forgot the magnum ammo though. The whole reason we came down here. Besides going back to the sewers. Oh, we already grabbed it. Oh. Damn, so he took this for nothing. Forty-four zombies. That's forty-five. Yeah, we can spare the shotgun ammo. Three shots. Just finish him off right now. Got that dirty ass knife. Alright, so we missed three shots, so. Still not bad, but. We can't um, be missing any more than that. I'd save, but then, I mean, I'd reload from the save, but then we have to do it all over again, so. Whatever, it's whatever. We'll make it up during the Mr. X fight when we just unload a bunch of ammo at him. Easily like 20 shots. That'll amp up the percentage. 
it doesn't have to be perfect. We just have to get a 90, under 90%. And I think I've gotten like 96%. Because there's another one that's tougher. It's the 95% challenge accuracy, so... Whatever, we missed three... Sh this motherfucker's still alive. Why? Okay, so now it's actually, um... Maybe 46 or 47. Depending on whether those zombies in the water died or not. We know that the one we stabbed died. I don't know about the other two. We'll go with 47. <laughs> We've taken hundreds of shots now at this point though, so it should be alright. So we're at an hour 10. Like I said, I'm wondering if I should um, keep going or not. See, it takes like 45 minutes to do the, the lab. We're definitely gonna need the magnum for this one. Let's pull out the plugs. We know the night plug goes here because in, in the A scenario it's always that one and that one. They never change. And the, the rook has to be here because the queen has to be opposite and it cannot be facing this one because the pawn is there. So it's the queen. the king over here and bishop let's go wonder if anybody's ever done a hundred percent accuracy i'm sure some maniac out there has accomplished it but i'm not sure i want to take on that okay. challenge if they ever do almost there it. it's one thing to do it for hunk or tofu which is just 15 minutes it's another thing to do it for an hour 45 minutes that's way way tougher Go grab the extra ink ribbons and the uh, and the uh, herbs right here. We can combine these. We're gonna need a lot of help for this one because here is where things can get tricky. Because Birkin moves around so much, it's difficult to aim at his arm. That's the part you have to hit. You can also try to do it with flash grenades, but it's really careful timing. So this is where we're gonna need some help. We're gonna be very careful with how we aim here. <laughs> Because it's very easy to miscalculate and just end up wasting bullets. So we definitely need to do it safe here. Let's see what else. I we don't need the knife just now. So we can leave that behind. A bullet should be more than enough. Let's take the first aid spray out. I think a first aid spray and a green herb should be enough. Like, he shouldn't cause that much damage. If we're taking that much damage from him, uh, we're not doing so well, so... Let's reload the shotgun as always. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Okay, so we need a... Um, what else do we need? We get a flashbang over there. Yeah, we don't have any flashbangs left, so we can't use that at, at all. We have grenades, which won't do shit. Yeah, I think we're set. 
We have everything that we need. Let's go. Yeah, screw it. We're just gonna stick with Leon. See if we can get it done, and then we can get started on a Claire scenario. Siphon filters is gonna have to wait another week. It's always waiting. Maybe I can do one for Saturday or something. Just a special Siphon Saturday video, just to catch, see how far we get. So the goal is not to miss not to miss any shots, so Jesus Christ sucks it's bullshit yeah let's reload um, that's no good because once you start missing four or five shots that's when it gets tricky it can easily drain your percentage so no thanks uh, no thanks Birkin I almost feel like it would be better to try to do it with the, with the um, flashbangs but the problem is we wasted that one we don't have any others yeah like if we did I think it would be kind of be probably better to try to flashbangs but we just don't have anything left like we could try grenades but we need those for Mr. X so. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on. It's already starting off with a positive shit. Shit. God damn, fucker. fucking continue god damn reload the last game shit damn probably should have switched to siphon filter huh instead of doing this it was that time we should have switched I wish there was a way to skip the claw scene because it takes up two minutes each and it's tiring seeing him try to get you over and over again. Like, I wish there was a way to skip it. Instead of using it on the Geodolts, we should just use it. 
shut off at him. Assume that they did hit him. Because I'm not about to repeat that. Let's hope that's the last. Hell no. <sighs> if not, we'll count it as four, but I, I think they all hit him. Because they all drew blood, so I think they all hit him. Alright, let's go get our. our. Cable car will take us down. Our to sentient list. spy over here. That wristband's our ticket to ride. Nice. Where'd you get that? Borrowed it. Anyway, we're almost <laughs> there. Let's grab a green herb before anything. There we go. Now we can store this. <laughs> Ada, hurry your wounded ass up. Let me care for you. It would save us some time, though. Instead of waiting for you to limp all over here. Worse than it looks. Alright, let's skip all this. Let's go. Got no time to waste. This may be a one-way ride, so be prepared. This tram is bound for Nest. Do not exit until the final destination. Maybe we can get it done in half hour. 
We're exactly an hour and a half, so let's see how let's see how long it takes. The lap's not that long. You just gotta <laughs> bypass a couple things, so it helps having the actual passwords and everything. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. Welcome to Nest. Enjoy your visit. Okay. G viruses. Grab our shotgun shells from over here. There's the Matilda that we never upgraded. Because why would we? It's kind of useless, right? Definitely saving just in case we screw up the next section because I'm not doing that shit. We're breaking again. Hell no. So let's save. See if we can get in around a good two hours even. Hopefully if we're lucky. This guy might be tricky, let's see. Son of a bitch. We're not gonna check to see if he's dead or or should we? I guess we can knife them all. I'll leave this guy's side of 47 to 48, right? <laughs> classic old school theme of the lab because in the new one it's just silent right it doesn't really have anything there it's just a big bl blank in terms of the soundtrack it's just silence and while I get that can be unsettling I actually prefer the uh, the old music here that they give you it's pretty cool get ready for this guy because you know he's gonna charge in here He's already waiting. But unfortunately we can't wait for him to... We can't try to shoot him... Besides the wall because if, if it hits the wall instead of him it's gonna count against us so... Let's see if we can get him to line up. Ooh, top has face up. That one finished him off. Damn, he just had a skeleton left. It's gonna suck if we actually do all this work and it turns out we didn't get it. We get like 94, I mean like 89% accuracy or something like that. He's got to take as many shots as possible, I guess, without screwing up. Dr. Lee, your presence is urgently requested by Chief Cartwright in the... Yeah, I'm going to stop counting the kills because we should be alright now. We still got two bosses left and a buttload of enemies, so we should be alright in terms of the kill count. I'm just worried about the accuracy.
This does not look like a safe workplace environment with all these uh, ramps and no guardrails to hold you to hold you over from falling down into the pit below. That does not seem like an OSHA safe work environment. Who designed this shit? It was bad in the original, but now it's even worse. Look at this shit. There's no guardrails on that bridge. Anybody could just fall to their death if you slip. Manette could have fallen to her death if she slipped on her sneakers. Or William during a night of drinking. Who the hell designed this? That's a cool look as far as the actual individual rooms, but in terms of safety, Jesus. Forget about the viruses, the, the pitfalls are the, the most dangerous thing in the, this environment. I don't think we need a shotgun right now. We can put that away because we're going to be using more the handgun. And the flamethrower. So I don't think we need that. So we can put it away for now. Take out the chemical flamethrower and the, all the flamethrower stuff. I think we're good. We're good for now. Jesus. What happened here? Wait a second, did we combine this, this thing with the flamethrower or not? I don't remember. I don't think so, right? I think we might have forgotten or did we... Let's go back and check in the box. Because I don't want to use up too much fuel, so... Oh yeah, we did combine them. All right. Just making sure. Yeah, I don't see it there, so I assume we combined it. Flamethrower at least does damage here and the original was all but useless. It was completely useless for uh, except for the plants. That was the only use. It did nothing to the liquors or the zombies or anything like that. In the original R2. Solution. Yeah. So at least this is an improvement as minor as it might seem. Looking up the puzzle solutions. So I can get the code and we can skip that. Okay, 3123, 2067. That way we don't have to bother with the guac trophy. Adjust amount of solution to match cartridge capacity. 
An easy way to remember that is that the colors repeat, so it's always red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, and green, so it's the same combination repeated three times, and then it stops short of the third blue. Easy way to remember it. They, they all just repeat. <sighs> so I normally don't use these, um... So soon, but we're gonna have to do do it here so we can clear some space. sucks because we wanted to use the flashbang for these guys. Now we don't have one so <laughs> Also we uh, used up too many bullets now so we gotta deal with the zombies downstairs. Shit. We have to put some of this stuff away and come back with a shotgun. See if we can pull this off. Yeah, we're just gonna have to run past her and come back because we can't we can't tackle these zombies without the shotgun. We don't have enough ammo. We need a separate knife. We just got to run past her. Just grab some of the stuff and go. 
Ah, oh, damn, we missed a shot. No, nope, it's not gonna work. Shit. Fuck that. Fuck that. Hell no. Ah, oh, we gotta do- I thought we saved earlier. Shit. Ah, gotta start all over again. Bullshit. God damn. Ah, sucks. It's bullshit. Gotta do this shit all over again. Committed now. Yeah, look at him right there. Thank <laughs> you. 
See, if we had more space, we could take the shotgun with us, but the problem is we don't have that space. I guess we can try to use the knife to take out some of the zombies, um, <laughs> just for knifing them. Adjust the amount of solution to match cartridge capacity. this one first that way we can combine it here get rid of that gives us one extra space got to be careful not to use a freaking flashbang this time Save the shotgun shells for the zombies upstairs or the ones downstairs. I can just knife these guys. <laughs>
he's over there. That went way better than the other one did. Things aren't that useful against Mr. X, so it's better to just use it here. <laughs> now we can safely tackle this zombie by the stairs. We don't have to worry about him. Let's kill him right now. That's much easier than what we were trying to do before. And you know what, since we have the shotgun, let's just kill her right now. Let's just get it over with. Yeah! yeah, you ain't charging anything, fool. Oh no, we need the um... What do we grab first? Um... You know, let's grab this. Go open up the door. Let's reload that. So we're not gonna finish it even two hours. It might be two hours, fifteen minutes. Let's see. Oh, we can reload our shotgun. Put this one single round away. Um, store that. We don't need that anymore. the shotgun away so I'm gonna pull out the magnum I don't think we need the knife anymore Right now we can grab all this stuff. Put it back here. Cause even though um even though we shouldn't need to use um too much to take out the liquors, we might need a health, so let's store this and this. Let's pull out a one herb just in case. Just in case this should go horribly wrong. Because you never know where they're positioned at. They might be in your way. Yeah, this was way easier than what we were trying to do before. Let's proceed cautiously. That zombie crawled all the way over here. God damn, he still ain't dead. Even Motherfuckers, they still aren't dead, even after all this shit. This could be a problem. Um, this could be a major problem. Let's see. Wonder if we can lure one of them over here. I think they'll hear it if we slash them or not. Let's see. Okay, now he's 
really did. Um... Is it worth it to use another grenade or not? Because <sighs> we get an extra one anyway near the end, so one shouldn't cost us too much, but we might we might need to use two because the problem is that zombie standing there, so I don't trust them not to get Leon while we're trying to deal with the liquors and they're gonna be too fast to deal with them otherwise. Oh, we got plenty of hand grenades. Um, yeah, we just save five for Mr. X and that'll be it. We just save five for him. Counting the one we get at the end too, so. Oh, and I believe there should be one downstairs in the Birkin fight, so. Yeah, six is fine. We can, we can do with six. It's fine. I just don't want to screw this up, so and we're so close to the end, so in order to take all three of these guys out, we're gonna have to improvise, so here we go. It'll kill the zombie for sure. Hopefully it'll kill them as well. Let's go. Crispy fry liquor and zombie, they're all dead. Now we got the Murph. Got the Murph panel. Yeah, that was um There you go. Should be it. We should have the 50 enemies there. Plus, we still gotta kill Broken and Mr. X, so we should be, we should be good now. I'm gonna put this knife away. We're gonna take out the other one um, because. We need a way to defend ourselves from the from the plants. So in case that one breaks, we have the other one. Oh yeah, we're still missing the extra gunpowder. We can get this now that we have the space. Yep, sorry it's taking longer, longer than I expected. I did not expect to have to reload at several opportunities. Because we either missed shots or screw something up, it should not take it. It should not have taken this long. It should have been done with by now. But we're almost through with it. Just gotta go fight Birkin. We just gotta go fight Birkin. Deal with Mr. X after that, and we're done with the game. So. Welcome back, Dr. Lee. We're not even you gonna read that. We've read that a thousand times messages. already. Ugh. Who left the freezer open? <laughs> Alright, we got it. We've seen that before. Cooling complete. We're gonna leave that behind. We don't have any use for that. Let's go back upstairs. There's gonna be a plant guy waiting for us right now. We can just burn him. There he is right there. What the? You don't want to get too close in case he still kills you even when he's on fire.
die. Not sure what happened there. Should have been already dead. Dispensing. All right, I guess we hear you. That did the trick. So that stunned them. You can see they're lying down, but they're getting back up. Damn, they're all rising like zombies now. Well, they are zombies. They're plant zombies. Still. comes and we are out of here there shouldn't be one here since we burned the one near the door good it's not here Cannot cross that door. I'm guessing because it's too low. <laughs> we just can't bend down without um, taking a lot of time. So we gotta go over here to the to this area first, just because we need to get the extra storage space, so that we're not hurting on space when we we're gonna fight the last two bosses. So let's go over here first to the north area. shotgun again in case those zombies get any freaky ideas we're not playing with that now we no longer need the flamethrower so we can put that away for the moment we're gonna need it for we're gonna need it soon for um, Birkin because we're gonna cook him, but at the moment we don't need it. What we do need is some handgun ammo. There you go. One more opportunity to get some shots at the zombies in case um, we need to amp up our, our accuracy percentage. Amp it up to like 96 or 97%. Okay, this guy's still dead. The other one has not emerged from his nap room. Got muff. We're almost done with the game though. Two and a half hours is not bad. It's fine. At least we'll be done with it. We can move on to clear scenario. He is never going to catch up to me. Yeah, all we have left is just the two final boss fights and that's it. Again, I think uh, Claire's second run scenario is probably the quicker option. But I just don't know if I want to deal with that freaking... Revolver, that thing sucks. I think it's bullshit, so might want to do just clear A. I think they gave us a time of two and a half hours, so we should have more than enough time to play with. We shouldn't, we shouldn't need to do two and a half hours for hopefully the just for that single playthrough. Because we're not watching our accuracy in that one. We're just killing everything in sight, so it should be fine. It should be able to more to do more than Nope. We should be able to stay more than safe on that regard. Let's do OSS. There you go.
Yep, we're missing the other side pack, which, which we do not get in this version, so. But since we no longer need a handgun, it doesn't really matter, does it? All we need is his health, the magnum, and the flamethrower. I guess the shotgun too, but good thing about the magnum is it carries a lot of bullets, so. We don't have to worry about reserving a large amount of storage space since you can just put eight shots in it. Back to Ada. Yeah, yeah, back to Ada. Attention. That I'm wench. So much stuff to pick up. Self Put that away for now. And this, we don't need it right. We don't need it right now, at the moment. Okay, so the handgun goes, this goes, we're gonna move this here, move this here, put this at the very end, because that's what allows us to open up the door. It, you're kind of screwed if you don't have that, you can't go through. And it's obviously a ploy to make you have one less space. You know, it's, it's a huge ploy to make you have one less space, so it is what it is. So let's start making some ammo. Now that we got, now that we got a ton of stuff. should be more than enough ammo to kill. More than enough, because we're going to use the flamethrower too. Let's pick up 12 we already had, so damn, yeah, we got 29. That's more than enough to kill him. I'm going to wipe the floor of him. See what else we need. Um, more magnum ammo. We got a team. We can always use more. So. Oh wait, I forgot it. Magnum is a yellow, yellow, right? Yeah, I was, a, I was just about to waste those two. Hell no. Oh yes, yeah, two yellows, I forgot, it's not a two. Those just make a ton of handgun bullets, hell no. We don't want to we don't want to do that, so here we go. That's what we wanted. I think we have enough shotgun ammo. Maybe we should just make um, Magnum, right? One more. Let's go. We can store this. We no longer have any use for it. Get um some health. We need the flank door too. Let's make sure it's fully reloaded. 
Because even though they give us fuel downstairs, I want to make sure it's fully reloaded, so... There you go, we can store this one. There you go, I think we should be... We should be safe. Um, you know what, let's just... Let's take this and just... Let's save, just so we don't have to do this shit all over again. We're just gonna save right now. There you go. And uh, what should we use for the last slot? Some health, I guess? Yeah, I guess let's just um, do health. Might as well, right? Let's just do some health. We got a ton of it. Look at that shit. We got way too much health. Alright, let's go. Because this might be... Um, th th we really have to aim carefully here. Since you have to target the eyes, we really have to aim very carefully at this. There we go. There you go, see? You gotta target it when, when he's not moving. That's when that's the best time to target it. Start cooking him. that time but he could not get us let's use the first aid spray so that we have the um so that we have what do you call it the um 
the herbs available for Mr. X because they're much more useful over there. So let's grab the flashbang, even though we don't need that. Leon's just limping. There's that extra grenade. That's what we're looking for. Because now we got full. I believe we have a full six, right? Or do we still have five for Mr. X? That's mainly just to hold him off when he does his um, one hit kill attack. You use a grenade to hold him off, otherwise he can kill you one hit, so... We definitely want some of those. But since we have so much Magnum ammo, we're just gonna be firing Magnum at all it's at him. There we go, we got everything. Let's move. Leon's on muddy now since he the water won't dry him off. Um, it just sticks to him, it just looks like he's coated in mud. Oh, this bitch again. Sorry, Ada, we don't have time for you. Yeah, because normally once you get through, first uh, it showers him, and then it blows the air, blows the water off. With that little dryer it has, but since he goes backwards, now he's just all muddy. How many bullets we got? We got 12 magnum bullets, so we got to do a lot of work with the shotgun. I think we might have made too many shotgun bullets. We should have made magnum bullets more. Would have been easier. I don't think we missed a single shot there, right? Throughout the whole battle, so we should have more than 90% accuracy at this point. Because this is the first step, obviously, so if we don't get this one, there's no point in pursuing the other challenges. Unless I just try to get try to get it on my own, but after spending all this time, we better get that damn accuracy. All right, let's get that classic escape mu escape music started. We can leave those behind. Nine minutes until the end of the world, at least in Raccoon City. You know what, we're just gonna run past the, the freaking plant weirdos because we don't need them and we have more than enough. Um, we have more than enough um, health, we don't need any more of it, so I'm just gonna save right here. I don't think we need this anymore, right? Just, just in case. Oh yeah, because we're not going to pick up the herb, we're just going to run past them. So yeah, we don't need it. God damn it. Never mind, um, let's reload. I'm glad we made that save because I just realized we used a grenade, right? Which we were saving for Mr. X. Yeah, so. No, we need two knives. That's what we need. So, you know what? Screw it. We're just gonna cook those guys. We'll use the flame crow one last time just to get rid of them. Just to get rid of them. We'll just use the flame crow. And we'll get the extra herb too. Might as well. Mr. X. 
again. Looks like we're gonna come in at, at around like two hours and 35 minutes or so. Uh, is this a fucking Eight joke? Minutes until detonation. So if we screw up, we have to start over from scratch um, at the typewriter again. If we mess this section up, so we gotta aim very carefully at him. Here's the last red herb in case you need it. That's nice of them to do. Let's put the shit away. We don't need it. We don't need this. We do need some more health, so let's put the final one here. So what do we have left? Let's see. Oh, we got a ton of, got a ton of health. Hell yeah, let's go. So we want all the magnum bullets and get rid of this. I think we're gonna take, we're gonna store these two. Get rid of that. Even though Leon has it on him in the cutscene, we'll just assume it's in his pocket. Oh yeah, because we, never mind, we can't do the three because we need space for the grenades. Let's see. Let's see how many of them we can fit. Time is just mysteriously pausing while we're browsing the menu. Okay, we can fit five health. That should be enough. Oh no, we can't because um, fuck, because we need two space for that stupid ass plug for the elevator. Never mind. We can only fit um five health. Four health, let's see. That should be enough. Yeah, that four should be enough to kill him. If not, we can always try again. But that should be more than enough, especially with that invincibility effort that lasts quite a bit. And we can get some we can get some quick shots on him at the very beginning. Let's go. Fuck you, Mr. X. Oh, you just like that, huh? Alright, he's vulnerable now. Let's do it. Let's hit him. He wasn't even trying on that one. That was like a bitch slap. That was like, how dare you hit me? He wasn't even trying on that one. Come on, you fool.
damn, look at Leon, he got mauled. Got freaking mauled. Now we have to be careful with this one. We gotta hit a zombie, so. We're gonna wait until they burst in, and then we're gonna hit one of them. Here we go. Hit the fat guy, hit the fat guy, get it. Right there. there you go. That should have finished off all of them, so. That should be it. Let's see what our accuracy is. Let's enjoy this last little cutscene with Leon. Shit! Two hours, 32 minutes. Can we get out of here? Give her 20 minutes. Couple of minutes for the end. First day was hell, Liam, but you made it through like a real trooper. <sighs> now throw away that piece of junk that reminds you of Ada. Just throw it away, Leon. She, she's worthless. You got plenty of women around you. You don't need that. You don't need that bitch. I can't believe I Jesus, it's got her. Claire. It's got Hunnigan later on. It's got Ashley. What's the other one? Helena? I think she dies, right? But it's got plenty of Beautiful women around him. He's obsessing over this traitorous spy. God damn, Leon. Such a sap. There you go. We made it through. Hopefully this counted and we don't get screwed by something. Alright. We know you're there, Birkin. Got an A. Not bad. 3 hours 58 minutes, so... Yeah, uh, taking time for accuracy definitely hurt our time, but... Hopefully the site is actually functioning right now. Sometimes it'll go down for maintenance and your um, weekly challenges won't count, so. Come on, fingers crossed. It actually got it down. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, there we go. Seven. Excellent. Hell yeah, there we go. Fucking assassin. Fine, give a lot of cookies, Capcom, you bastards. What do you mean can't take a screenshot? Take the fucking screenshot. There you go. What the hell is up with that? Hell yeah, there we go. We got it. See, we have to finish all of them before the, the eighth. So uh, we got three days left. Killing in a hurry, that's going to be fun. We just maul everyone. Destroy them. Taking screenshots for posterity. So there you go. That's how you do the accuracy. I want to. I want to check the accuracy. Um. God damn, we did better than expected. I thought I'd be maybe like a 96 or 97. Since we missed a few shots, we did a 98.904 percent. Damn. So if not for those, what was that? Like four missed shots, we would have gotten 100 percent. But we have to do that mandatory for Tofu. So Flan's gonna have to put her dead eye cap on for that one. Weekly result. As usual, we're gonna. Gonna take a couple screenshots just to preserve it. God, I probably have like 500 screenshots of this game by now. So, someone named Kino also finished around the same time. They did Claire, Japan. Someone from China, I guess they haven't decided on. Yeah, they accomplished, but they don't say what they used. Huh. It's kind of weird. Why wouldn't it appear? Why is it locked? Nuke 12, is that it? Nuke 12? Oh, look at that. Oh, good old sex monster. Remember him. Zombie 9992. Glad to see zombies play video games also. <laughs> you know, they can't be left out. They're potential customers too. C Nuts 619. Nice name. Namagu Namamuchi Taro, Japan, Japan, a lot of Japan. Look at this shit. 
all Japan. That's one, that's like one Canadian, the zombies are Canadian. Canadian zombies playing Resident Evil. This late at night. Who's Pal? Let's see. SGP, what is that? Um, I have no idea what that country is. SGP, I wonder what that is. Might have to look it up later, but there we go. We finished the first part of the challenge. We killed 70 enemies, so we blew past the requirement. We didn't even need to do that. We need to kill 50. At least 50 enemies. Um, You notice there, so if we had actually been rushing more, we actually could have gotten both challenges at once because we finished 70. We got the accuracy. Um, We also, we probably could have done, we could have done Claire scenario then. The one we're going to do for Claire scenario. In under two and a half, in under two and a half hours if we had just rushed it, but. Oh no. Oh shit, it locked me out, the motherfuckers. Um, lock back in, you jackasses. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take, um, I gotta look up my password again, so. In the meantime, we're gonna take a little break. I'm not sure. I guess I might as well start on clear scenario. I gotta take a look at the times to see which one we go for. Um, it's probably gonna be Claire's second run, but. I just want to make sure which one has the faster time and whether I want to put up with the revolver or not because that thing's annoying but yeah I'm going to finish out this video and we'll be back in a bit to start clear scenario I guess so just hold on to your hats for a couple moments and I'll be right back so hope you enjoyed this for Leon scenario that it shows you how to tackle that accuracy challenge if you want you know you still have three days to do it if you want to do all current three if you just want to do the accuracy one and wait for the other two because the accuracy one expires I think on the 15th right so if you just want to do this one and wait to see what else they put up because you don't want to play as flan for the 100% or you don't want to do this one under two and a half hours you can just do this one just do the accuracy challenge and wait for the next two which they'll post on Sunday but either way we will be right back with Claire so hold on for a bit 